Like, what do you got going? We're doing, we're producing uh, a new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated movie. Hey, what's up, everyone? Well, the Ninja Turtles CG animated reboot is probably the biggest thing going on with the Turtles right now. And other than the initial announcement, the press release, and some speculation on the release date, we haven't heard much about it, except for who's involved, really, in making it. We don't really know what stage in development it's at until recently. We got a little bit of an insight, and that's what we're here to discuss in today's video. It's not much, but it is a little something worth Worth examining and breaking down especially if you're a turtles fan and you're excited about this upcoming movie and just anything turtles but real quick if you're new to the channel and you want more updates like this in your life go ahead hit that subscribe button should be interesting to see how this thing develops over time now speaking of developments let's take a look at what we're gonna dive into today so we know the movie is gonna be made by point gray pictures Seth Rogen's production company and Rogan actually went on a podcast earlier this week and discussed the upcoming movie briefly. And that's what we're going to take a look at today. This was over on Mark Marin's WTF podcast. It starts around the 49 minute mark with Mark asking, since I last saw you, you've done a lot of stuff. The animation business, it seems like it's going to be pretty lucrative in the future because we're never going to be able to touch each other again. You know, obviously he's talking about the virus and how it's changing the industry and the landscape and whatnot. They start talking about Sausage Party for a bit, but then Rogan says, we have plans to try to do more R-rated animation and we're doing kids animation now as well, which is hilarious. Let's talk about that a little bit right there real quick. The way he addresses it as kids animation, and they're referring to the turtles here. I feel like that has a wide range of what it could be. Yeah, I mean, are we talking like a kids animated movie like Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse? Or are we talking like a super lighthearted version of the Turtles where everything's bubbly and there's no real big stakes type thing? I could see how some people could get nervous when they address it like that. If it were me, I would just call it an animated movie. I wouldn't say kids animated movie. I feel like that pigeonholes it a little bit too much and could get a lot of people to write it off already. Just my opinion, but that's how I would approach it. Anyways, the interview continues with Mark asking, specifically referring to the kids animation part. Like, what do you got going? Rogan says, we're doing, we're producing a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles animated movie for Nickelodeon and some more things like that. Mark then goes, how does that work in terms of like, is that sort of like Siegel doing a Muppets movie? How do you get access to the Mutant Ninja Turtles? And I think he's referring to Jason Siegel when he did the Muppets movie back in 2011, which I've watched. I thought it was pretty good. It was funny. And it was like that funny where both kids and adults could enjoy it at the same time. So maybe a clue of how it might be, obviously with a little more action since, you know, there's ninjas involved. Yeah, I can see that working. I just hope the aesthetics are kind of like dark and moody. I feel like that gets forgotten a lot, how the turtles can be funny and crack jokes and stuff, but it's in this dark world run by ninjas. I feel like that's always the best balance that you can strike with the turtles, but we'll wait and see what they come up with. Uh, the interview continued with, and this was in response to Mark's question when he says, how do you get access to the mutant Ninja turtles? Rogan says, it's funny. There's some things I've been working on tirelessly for years to try to become a part of, and it still has not materialized. And then there's something like this, where like Brian Robbins is the head of Nickelodeon around 20 years ago. He was a producer and he was one of the first producers to read Superbad and we very much got along. And then like I got a phone call one day and he was like, I'm the head of Nickelodeon. Want to make Ninja Turtles? And I was like, okay. And so yeah, now we're producing Ninja Turtles as a result of that. So there you go. That's how it went down. The interview continues. Mark asks, and are you writing it? Uh, Rogan replies, I'm like producing, no. But and then he says, I'm like helping write it as a producer, being pretty annoyingly hands-on throughout the writing process. Now, just by that statement right there, I got the feeling when he's saying it that they are still writing it. How far along they are, who knows, but they seem to be at that stage in the development at the moment just from what I got in this interview. That July 2022 date that everyone was speculating about kind of seems likely after hearing this. Uh, Mark then asks a couple more questions. He says, were you a fan when you were a kid? And then Rogan responds with, yes, I was obsessed with it. I watched like every episode. Then Mark says, cause those characters are so defined, right? And then Rogan replies, yeah, they are defined. There's a party dude, there's a leader, there's a nerdy guy, 
and there's the petulant rebellious guy. That's all you need. So it sounds like he's taking it back to basics, which in my opinion is good news. I feel like constantly with just properties in general, not specifically the turtles per se, but someone will come in and just try to reinvent the property that's already proven to be successful, but then it doesn't perform well and it's just not as good as it once was. <laughs> I feel like that happens a lot with big properties. And then the brand just kind of stays in this weird limbo where it's not quite as good as it once was and it's just there, a shell of its former self, no pun intended. Anyways, yeah, if they are going back to basics, I think that's a great strategy. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Then he stops talking about the turtles and he moves on and starts talking about the boys Amazon series that they work on. But yeah, what do you think? What do you think of his statements that he said regarding the turtles? I know there wasn't much, but there is a little bit to chew on there. Go listen to it for yourselves that we can kind of get the tone of how he's talking about it. But I still think it's up in the air on how good it's going to be. I'm optimistic. So I think it's definitely going to have good humor, good jokes and stuff. I just hope the aesthetics are correct. The design design of the turtles, the vibe of the city, and also that there's good action scenes. My gut is telling me this is going to be something to the effect of like the 2007 CG Ninja Turtles movie. And this might be surprising, but the 1987 cartoon turtles, I feel like they're going to combine the vibe of both of those. It seems to me that that Fred Wolf show is what Rogan seems to have a fond memory of. So I wouldn't be surprised if it looks a little bit like the 87 cartoon, but sort of in the tone of the 2007 CG movie. If I had to place money on what it's going to be like, that's what I would put my money on. Although if they come out looking like the 1990 movie Turtles and it's pretty much just like those turtles in a CG universe, that's what would be amazing. And if it was just done in the tone of that like spider first movie where there's stakes and stuff and you actually feel when you lose a character, that would be great. Which Spider-Verse was actually, I just doing this video realized rated PG, which is surprising because to me it seems more dark than like the Bay Turtles and those were PG-13 movies. So it just depends on how you tell the story, I guess, and how the dialogue's written. So many different feelings when thinking about this movie. I'm excited. I'm a little worried, a bit disappointed. I hoped it would have been live action, but they could surprise us. And since it is animated, if it is really good, there's a good chance this could go on for a while considering the characters won't age the voice actors will but they could definitely stick around a lot longer and if some left and you had to switch them out you wouldn't really notice because the characters are animated so there's a lot of potential for this to be an ongoing movie series so let's just see how it goes if any more interesting stuff comes out from this movie any little tidbits like this or anything like that We'll definitely cover it here. So if you're new to the channel and you want more stuff like that, hit that subscribe button. If you're enjoying the content, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. But that's it for this one. Leave your thoughts down below in the comments, share the video, and I will see you in a little bit with another one. Take care. Pizza dudes got 30 seconds.